Zane and Lavitz up against Jamu Cody Schwab, who have fallen oh to gosh. losers off the back of that AMSA Axe winner's final set. So what's interesting here is that Zane and Lavitz were on the opposite side of bracket to Jamu and Cody Schwab, so they didn't get a chance to play against each other yet. Dude, we got one, two, and three in loser's finals of Smash. Like, you'll never see this in like, I mean, you will see yeah, this Yeah, we got singles, Lavitz, like... Lavitz, Lavitz, <laughs> and Focus Give... Fuel in that order. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give credit where credit is due. Lavitz is pulling his weight and then some. Let's get into it, though. I mean, this is going to be a very fast-paced oh, match. Poke. Yeah, Cody, Cody and Jamuk, of course, no strangers into playing against this team composition. Oh, absolutely not. No, this is uh, Jamuk, Cody Schwab. Again, two foxes, and then the differentiator here being a Sheik versus a Marth. I don't think you go for up air there. I think you go for back air and then pass it back to Zane and try to get the stock. But maybe you think you don't have enough time when Cody respawns. Yeah, I, that was a, an interesting option there. The forward air might be enough to do it. Yeah, okay, just going to stop up air instead of a forward air, okay. And now you get the back and forth that the blue team wanted in the first place, Zane sneaks out. Yeah, Zane at 112 on third stock isn't looking good. The rock transformation here, could play huge again, as, as you said before, Walt, earlier. Yeah, okay, unless it's an up smash. It's the back board, yeah, but Zane wants to get into the pit if he's going to try to fight there or just wait. I don't think there's. I think. Okay. <laughs> Yo, grab, run him up. Run him up. Get these hands. Oh, oh the whip of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. kind of keeps him in place there, too. That's so brutal. This game is just showing us its disastrous coding all Bro. at once. The little ledge. Oh, the needle the interrupted too. Jamuk has just been impeccable on defense here, especially when Cody gets found in these weird, precarious situations. His needles have been on point, as you've been saying. Like, dude, he's been so aware of when he needs to place those needles, and it's been paying dividends. And look at the pictures oh, on the screen, JC. Oh my god. Zane is the first one. <gasps> that was was that needles from Cody? I I think so. That might have interrupted. Or from Jamuk, excuse me. Yeah. Clean, but oh my god. Zane needs to get off this ledge, dude. Or maybe find a way to be safe. More needles, more needles. Uh, okay. More needles, the target switch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just so scared. You know, you're at such high percent at this point now if you're Zane and you're just oh dead. Oh my god. Put game one in the books right now. Start talking about your counter picks, guys. Can Lavitz pull it off? Lavitz could be fishing for something. I, I'm not counting him out just yet. I think he's fishing for game two, if you ask me. But <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. We shall see. I mean, this is looking so rough. Dash that. Okay, interesting angle. Water transformation is relatively neutral. Oh, the oh needles, the God. dip low. Oh, my goodness. Dude, Jmook is hunting for blood. Every single needle he executes just seems to be with purpose. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, we should get a counter of how many times he's saved Cody in this bracket alone. Just in the yeah. past couple hours, we've been commentating, JC. I mean, it's uh, it's crazy to see. And this is, I mean, this is a pretty classic double stage of let's find kills as early as we can. Maybe we're oh. feeling a little bit outmatched here. Uh oh, oh! Okay, so a trade stock for stock, the odd character of the ninja and the swordsman. That patience from Zane was so good. Okay, oh, but he's just gonna oh, die. He's getting oh, juggled. No. He's dead. Yep, okay, down. Oh, goes Randall Lavitz. saves him. Randall saves. Yeah, Zane wanna get back to stage so fast. Oh no, the straight up air from his teammate. Okay, Jamie breaks up the action right there. Cody's just looking for a way to run straight in, but Zane gets the C stick first. Yeah, the knowledge for Cody to know that he needs to get back on stage, a side B versus an up B. The sooner he can get back to his teammate, the better he can contribute and try to stay alive. Okay, a, a forest match between two shields is wild. Interesting choice of, a, of option there. Up there doesn't kill. And Nair will. I'll reverse hit there, though. Oh my. <laughs> Stage controls the name of the game. Oh, that was a save there. Ah, 
Lavitz knows. He's keeping track. Oh my goodness. We have the back of the scoop. Target switch, waits for the down smash. Wake up attack gets hit. Oh, Randall just uh. missed. Canadian called. Oh my god. Cody is vicious with these stocks. He wants to press the. Yeah, surgical the man. Here. Like, I. I don't know what Zane and Lavis need to do, to be honest. That was cute. I like that. Counter kind of holds him in place for a second so Lavitz can get the kick on. But I don't idea? think it's enough, man. This is so, so rough. Yeah, Lavitz is kind of being... No, Lavitz is doing his best here. But Zane getting juggled just is not fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, I took up the shy guy instead. Poor guy. Domino's Pizza. Dude. We got 2-0 for Cody James Luke, potentially coming back to Axe Amsa sitting in Grands for this, the run back. They want, they smell blood. They smell rat and dino blood, and they <laughs> want it back. Zane is looking a little shook. They're strategizing. They're talking. There's, do you see the chefs? Is this a? I saw the chefs playing chess earlier today. Ch this is real. This chess. is a real thing. You can look at the left side of your screen. There are many chefs. There, I saw two of them playing chess today. What is happening? Something's cooking. They're, they're, I think that's a let them cook type moment. I don't know. <laughs> well, Milkman, Savitz, Dash 01, Lavitz, Dash 01, excuse me, and Zane find their footing or will. Oh god, it's, it's a sloppy knock already. All right, Lavitz boss with the stock. Okay, it's gonna be on almost for, I guess, Zane to be a little more conservative to stay alive. Okay, this this has to be a kill here, right? Yeah. And it's missed time. Okay, I like the pick up there from Lavitz, but again, yeah. Try to spend the counter a little bit too early. Cody will sniff that out. Okay, yeah, they needed that. They needed to equalize the stocks here. Maybe find some cheese. Okay, Shine splits apart. Offspring, gotta keep them oh. separated. Offstage shenanigans. Oh, Lavitz wanted that Shine right oh, there, but no. Cody gets it swung right back. Lavitz jumped off the stage and he Shined him. Sending him off stage, getting a kill. And that's another kill on the way of Zane. This is not looking good. Three to six, or excuse me, six to four is not a happy sight for the blue team right now. It is not, for sure. Team Mook positioning around. Who's he going to go for? Keeping it a little bit ambiguous. Fair offstage hits both of his teammates. Dude! Oh! Oh! Lavitz said, screw it. They're no, just None of them are going to survive. These heads up plays have been really sick, but I don't think it's enough for blue team to cross the finish line here. Yeah, they still have to get rid of J Mook's stock. And J Mook's been playing very conservatively. Look at him. He's playing safe, wave dash back, throw out some hitboxes. Don't do anything crazy. Ooh, yeah, Cody sets his sights on Labbits now. Okay, okay, Zane needs to make these hard reads oh, right no! here, but yeah, you cannot let the other red team member come in and interrupt that. Yeah, it looked like it looked like Savage was. Lavitz was just preoccupied. On the deal, he doesn't get the... Okay, this is it for Zane. Okay, he's fine. They don't care. I think it's all she wrote here, JC. Stuff. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh, well, you get okay. a few well, gimmies well, here. Well, well, well. well, you know. Oh, wait! <laughs> They're saving him. They're, that's... Is that uh -huh. rude? Okay, no, that's not all they can do. A 3-0 for Cody Schwab and J Mook. As the seeds predicted, JC, Zane and Labitz will fall out of here at third. They had a couple uh, couple of scares that along was, the way, but damn. Yeah. That was an amazing showing, though, by Zane and Labitz. It looked like they were lost very early on. Yeah. Well, in their, earlier in the bracket. It looked like, okay, let's just let Zane just run train and then I'll play support. And then they were, like, piecing it together. Like, okay, Labitz can play offense, run, run the point, right. and then Zane can play support. And then they were just integrating and then intertwining the speeds of when, who takes what. And it started to make sense for them when they were facing off against other players. But again, Cody Schwab and Jamu, again, a formidable team, one of the best teams 
that we've seen. That's right. They're so tenured into knowing, okay, this is, like, you've seen, you've seen Cody do some stuff that, like, okay, he saved uh, J Mook. J Mook saving Cody multiple instances of just sniping with the needles. Right. Going deep and then stock tanking when they need to. Like, they play everything perfectly. How are you supposed to beat that? How are you supposed to beat perfection when you're still up and coming and learning? It's tough, dude. It's tough. Like, it, it did seem like Cody and j -Mook were, like, there for each other at every given moment. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, good showing either way, right? Yeah. Third place, nothing to sneeze at, of course. Not at all. I mean, Zane, up and coming doubles player, you know, I think he's someone to look out for. It's, I mean, it's possible. I mean, if he's able to just either stick with Lavitz throughout the whatever, he changes his name again. <laughs> well, if he's able to stick with him, I feel like this is a super strong team. They need, third is nothing to sneeze at, Yeah. right? But if he's able to team up with with Moki, do some oh God, like... That's, just, that's destruction for that. Yeah, pure, I think that is just actual train, chaos. Just absolute pure offense, no defense, balls to the wall, violence, like no team composition, no thoughts, just yeah. all just go. Foot pedal, break it down. Oh yeah, full offense. That would be a team to watch. I would cheer for that team 100%. But for uh, for all the praise we have sung for our remaining teams, there are only two left, and two shall 